Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Wednesday, September 9. It's 9-9-2015. It's 1.33 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and I'm out here in Northern California. I'm going to give a major update on Operation Hashtag Jesus Matters. And how as it started with us in obedience, responding to the call to Oklahoma is now sweeping the nation of America. In August, God had called us to respond to the, the, the Bible Belt, the exact middle of the United States to Oklahoma City to march around the Capitol seven times and tell them to repent. Forty people showed up from 12 different states and we left Oklahoma City quite different than when we arrived through the power of the Holy Spirit and prayer and obedience. The very next day, a 3.7 earthquake, hear me now, struck the area just 30 minutes north of my hotel as I prepared to depart. And as if God was saying, they're not listening. The Lord had required me to be back here by September 1st. And I had not been back in, the, the, in California more than two hours when the Lord told me they're not listening. I want you to pronounce judgment on this nation at the capital of the Golden State, where you live and were born and raised for 51 years, Sacramento. Do not worry about how to receive the permit, because I will go before you, and I will make the crooked road straight. I will offer protection and provision for all involved whether they are praying or marching whether they are in Nicaragua or Nebraska I will protect them I will provide for them I will place a hedge of protection around them God said it's time to pronounce God's judgment The very first thing I did was applied for the permit on the same day I returned from Oklahoma. This permit has been approved and I will show evidence of that. Since then, seven other states have said uh, the remnant of the body of Christ has said, we want to be a part of this. We see God is moving on the nation. He is for us, not against us. We want to be a part of this movement in these last days to say that Jesus matters. He mattered then, he matters now, and he will always matter. He's all that matters, and if you ain't got him, you're in trouble. In these last days, God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. We're seeing dreams and visions and prophecies. We're seeing the persecution of Christians move from the Middle East to the Midwest. As was prophesied and expected, it is not coming, it is here. The, the criminalism of Christianity is here. And God said, I'm looking for someone to make up the hedge, to stand in the gap, who will not bow down to ungodly laws, but take a stand for my laws, because I am the creator of everything, including laws who's not willing to bow down, who will not cower, who will not uh, fall back in weariness or, or tiredness, that will go all the way to the end, proclaiming my commandments that I am a holy God. And you must obey. And judgment shall come if you do not repent. But if my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and qualifier turn from their wicked ways then I will hear for them and I will come and heal their land and yet 
People are not turning from their wicked ways. They are increasing as was prophesied. It's all coming to pass. <clears throat> so, amen. Yeah, yeah, I'm shouting a little bit. I don't know how good this microphone works. I have not been on this computer in eight days. I've been about my father's business, and I know you have too. And so, I know New York is involved. I know Texas is involved. And I'm going to give you some names. I'm, uh, this is going to sweep the nation. What we have, let me count the days approximately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 days until the date and time of the event, which will all be in the description box. To make signs, to get intercessory prayer teams, to, to get people to organize these events. I would like to see all, imagine this. This is what I'd like to see, what I'm praying for and hoping for, and I'm asking for you to join me. Is to see all 50 states say, yes, we'll do this, whether you're at the Capitol or in your own house, interceding for this nation. Saying, have mercy, Lord, because his judgment shall come quickly. Which is a guilty verdict for America. And the sentence is his, the wrath being poured out. The seals being opened. The vials. The stock market crashing. Meteors falling. This is not doom and gloom. This is the holy word of God as it is written. If you're in doom, if you're in gloom, that didn't come from God. He wrote it. Shall you call him a liar on this day? I am standing in the wilderness and I'm not alone. God has showed me I'm not alone and I'm sounding the alarm and blowing the trumpet for him. And the blood shall not be on my hands. And if, if you want to be a part of this, you will be blessed and protected and divinely provided for in a way that only Christ can. Even if you just involve us and, and, and get involved in this in prayer. God knows our thoughts, he knows our hearts, and he knows our intentions. And he has commissioned this to happen. And what I do know when I was Oklahoma City driving around and feeling the darkness upon the land was that it takes a, so, a lot of coordination. And this was just for one event of 40 people. There were times right up to the event, I would say, especially the night before the event in August, at the end of August, and the, the day of the event, my phone was ringing so much, texts, phone calls, voicemails, emails, that I literally at one point, I said, Lord Jesus, help me. And he said, I did. Brother James is in the car with you. <laughs> he flew in from Colorado, Brother James, Bergens. God said, you won't be alone. And he stayed with me the whole time. I had to literally, James can bear witness, become overwhelmed in my focus and on Jesus was not going to be distracted. So many people wanted to be a part of this. So many people want to be a part of this movement in the United States that, that Jesus matters that I had to give James the phone and, and just say, you know, this is such and such. Explain who they were. You know, get a message and the details. There were people already at the Capitol. <sighs> so I know the reason why I'm saying all that is because I know. This is going to be big. This is going to be huge. Saturday, September 19th, we are meeting in California on Pacific Daylight Time at 11.30 a.m. to pray and begin the march at 12. There are so many different time zones involved that I'm not saying that we all march at the same time. You set your own time. What I am saying is that you pray and you show up and you obey God and what he says to do and that we all pray at the same time. So if it's noon here, it's 3 on the East Coast. It's it's 2 p.m. Uh, on Mountain Central Time. It, 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 if you're overseas, it's, uh, it's whatever, plus eight hours or plus. We need to be praying in this together in intercessory prayer. The devil hates this. <clears throat> Next week, I will put, I will just do a five-minute video on just details. So that no one, no one can say they didn't know how to be a part of this or anything. Because th this is this is going to be huge. And it's important. And so, 
There needs to be coordinators. So I'm going to tell you who I recommend you contact. And this is not a like this is about that person or because we need you and we need your help. Lord knows I needed somebody and I needed some help and they showed up in a way that just made me cry. To this day, I'm still blessed by what happened. And these people that are going to take up the responsibility of directing people, the time, people are going to know, like, where's the time, where's the date, what's the address, when are we meeting, who can I contact? You know, some people may want to call the media, whom should I cite for interview? Look, I am willing to stand here and help in every single way I can, but it's becoming so big that we need to delegate this to the states out there such as new york so in texas when i was when i was in texas in may look at look how fast time's going june july august September. it's been four months since i went to to texas i met people there who i know are grounded in the lord jesus whom i held hands with and prayed with who i'm holy spirit filled who i felt the anointing with whom i trust i'm not saying i don't trust everybody but I don't know everybody and haven't met you on YouTube. And so, Deb Long was one of those people in Dallas Fort Worth. A heart of gold who takes a stand for Jesus. So, Deb Long in Texas, I'm sure she'll sound off. She's been running around doing this. I'm citing her as a primary contact. And I'm asking people to pray for her and assist her to get to Austin, which is three hours away. Uh, in New York, I'm going to give you two names. Brother Keith lives there. He has blessed this ministry in a way just recently that, that uh, uh, words cannot explain. He lives in New York. There is a sister from West Virginia who knows of a group that, this is, this is going to amaze you, they had already uh, planned to march in Times Square of New York with this same message of God's judgment is coming at this on the same day September 19th they will be in Times Square there's a bigger group than this and when I receive any contact information from it on who's coordinating that I will uh, uh, post this in the comments and make updates as this is ongoing but the contact from West Virginia who alerted me to New York being involved is named Gina and all I have on her is an email. She's going to be there from West Virginia. God has put it on her heart to go to New York from West Virginia. We have New Hampshire. We have Colorado. Colorado, it is on my heart. My pastor, Pastor Larry Bergens, it's even on his heart to go to Colorado. I don't know when or where. And it's not, you know, on this day. But he, he told me as soon as I got back, the very first service. Matter of fact, I went to service the very next day. He said, God has put it on his heart to go to Colorado. I wanted to go to Colorado, but James is coming here from Colorado to stand with us. The guy that was with me by my side. God bless him and lift him up in prayer because God is doing mighty things for us and everybody involved in this. It, look, you expecting a miracle? You expecting a blessing? Hold on tight. Here it comes. That's what the Lord told me. It's coming. It's going to manifest in your life through your obedience. I would love to see Colorado get involved in this. Arizona, New Mexico, um, Wisconsin's involved, and we need Arkansas to get on board. I'm just Washington State, Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland. Uh, these states need to get involved. Utah just crossed my mind. There's going to, someone needs to designate and say, I got this. And if you need spiritual covering or prayer or how, you know, how best to deal with keeping the rules and regulations of someone who used to work, I was director of security for a five uh, story state property building because you're dealing with state property. If you go to the Capitol or if you go to the city area, a city park or, you know, a city courthouse, you're dealing with the city. If you need advice on that I will help you as best I can because that's what I did for a living for I gave my life fully to the Lord in 2011 that's what I did for a living so when I go to the capital in California which I'm going to show you some images of here I know exactly what I'm getting into and that's why my permit was approved because I showed him that you know how hard it is to get a permit approved on short notice in Sacramento and yet God made it happen I got the permit on the day I returned, in two hours, approved by California Highway Patrol. 
And I want people to know that we are going there decently and in order. You see these protests and march and, and Lives Matter things occurring all over the nation and the world. They can become disruptive, disruptive, destructive, violent. And we're going out representing Jesus. There will be no violence. Wherever I am, if you're going to do violence, I'm going to have to ask you to, to leave my group because I'm not going there to be violent. I'm going there to represent Jesus Christ in love and prayer. And they have approved it. So <clears throat> let me just, before I, I switch to some images, the hashtag is Jesus Madras. Get some shirts made. You have time. We had to rush order these shirts and pay a lot of money to get them uh, delivered within 48 hours. You don't have to do that. You have plenty of notice. Hashtag Jesus Matters. And on the back <laughs> uh, is this. Can you see it? Because I can't. A scripture. If you want to be a part of this in your state, you can use this, uh, what, what uh, the Lord has begun here through this ministry. You can do it on your own. But I think it's very important that we coordinate. You can put links to your event here. You can comment. You can say, I'm a coordinator from New York. And we will pray with you and for you and say, God bless you. And we're going to do this in unity of the faith. This just popped in my spirit right now, G1. Contend for the faith. You know what we're doing? Kim Davis taking a stand. Us marching around these capitals. We are contenders of the faith. We're contenders of the faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Contenders of the faith. Surrounded in prayer coverings. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. Let's go to the video. In Sacramento, California, on September 19th, a Saturday at 11.30 a.m., we are meeting on the uh, North Steps, which is 10th Avenue. I have brought up a Google Earth of this now. See, the building I worked at was just a few blocks away over here, so I'm very familiar with this area in law enforcement. I've had dreams of this. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Uh, very familiar with this area. I'm going to tell you, we're going to be on the north side right here. And it, this is tent. Parking, Saturday will help because it's not a weekday. But parking, don't think that you're just going to come right up to here in the front and park. That's not going to happen. You're going to find either a parking garage for the day, 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m., but just keep in mind that this is L right here. So you're going to pull up on L, which is one way. Uh, I will I will be, as it gets closer, I will give out my uh, text number to those that are coming. I know, listen, I know Oregon is coming. A guy from Oregon is coming down. Um, I, I know a guy in Stockton, a brother on here, powerful brother in Lord, is trying to make it. I know the sister, hey man, you just hit my spirit right now, coming from Oakland. Uh, and, and so many other people, James, coming from Colorado. Uh, it, there's another state that I can't think of it right now. This this is going down in uh, right here for Jesus. So we're going to be right here on the north side. I know someone else has applied for a permit on the south side at the same time, which would be great. But let me give you a layout of the Sacramento area so you know. Okay, L Street is one way, and this is uh, the north side. Right here is the north side. This is where we're going to start. Find parking, or leave a little early to find parking is what I'm saying. This is the west side, this is the south side, and this is the east side. So we're going to meet, just so everybody knows, at 11.30 a.m. on the north side. And you'll have the actual address. Does everybody, uh, does everybody understand that? And so th there'll be more on that later. Let me go to the next thing. This is very important. I posted this on Facebook yesterday within an hour of seeing it and uh, and on my Google Plus. When I was called by God to Oklahoma, first of all, it flipped my life upside down in, in, in a major way, which in a good way. The Lord had told me to pray for Arkansas and he had wanted me to drive to the border of Arkansas to the Fort Smith area and uh and just just on the border pray for arkansas and i had mentioned i'd heard something about a baphomet being moved there but i didn't expound on that and the lord did not open a door 
for me to go to Arkansas. We ended up going to three different ministries that day. Here's a flyer of one of them. We met the street preacher. God ordained it, and he did not open up the door. Matter of fact, James can bear witness. He closed the door for us to go to Arkansas. I'm holding up stuff like the camera's there, and it's not. <laughs> you got to laugh. Let's have fun and joy and peace with this. Peace, joy, love, long-suffering, patience. I had to get something to drink there, some tea. Look what popped up yesterday, 9-8. Today's 9-9. Nine, nine. Satanic temple files for Capitol Monument. Now, I put a link, and I do not like this image. There's children at the bottom of it, but it's Little Rock, Arkansas. This is why the Lord had mentioned Arkansas. So basically, this Baphomet is uh, they're gonna they're gonna bring legal action if they don't if this if this if the 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 capital in the state of Arkansas does not allow the Satanic Temple to put a satanic Baphomet alongside the Ten Commandments monuments, uh, then they will quickly bring legal action. Do you understand the, the, the days and times where they call evil good and evil good and they mock us? Arkansas, get involved. We are in the last days, people. Who are you going to stand for? It, you do not want to erect, I'm going to say this very clearly as a watchman, prophetically. You do not want to allow a satanic monument to go up anywhere and not expect God's judgment. You do not want to pass ungodly laws, I'm talking to the government systems of the United States of America, and not expect God's judgment. You cannot expect to lock up people and throw them in prison like Kim Davis and not expect God's judgment. I live in the state of California where you can grow weed in your backyard according to state laws, not federal laws, and legally sell it in a store and go get high without any jail time. But if you dare not marry uh, uh, as a minister of the gospel here, licensed and ordained, uh, if you do not marry uh, a same-sex marriage couple, they'll throw you in jail. Do you see the evil good and good evil part? I'm not discriminating. I'll go to jail because I'm telling you right now, I will never perform a same-sex marriage. And I have performed marriages. I will not. I'll go to jail and I'll sing praises unto God like the apostles did until the jail doors open or I go home, whatever comes first. I'm willing to do that. How far are you willing to go? Are you willing to do what God said to do or are you going to do what man says to do? It's a fine line. They're erecting satanic temples around the nation. Are you okay with that? I'm not. God is looking for people to stand in the gap and make up the hedge today. Arkansas, please get on board. Here is my permit. It's been approved. You're looking at the capital permit section of the... the and I want people to know what these people do. Uh, the, 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 protection, the protective governor's protection division and the capital protection division is what they do is they protect state property. And we're going to abide by their rules. If you're a part of my group... We're going to peacefully march with signs, and they have limits on their signage. But I just want you to know that this permit number for that day and time was approved within two hours. And that was because God allowed it. And this is here's the start time. I'm putting all the information in here. This is directly from the state's website, government website. We request that a small group of like-minded individuals of the Christian faith assemble together to pray for the state of California. This will not be to protest anything, but rather a prayer vigil. But we will pronounce judgment, and we will make them aware that uh, we refuse to bow down to ungodly laws, and we will obey God's laws. We do expect the crowd to grow any bigger than our small group. We will not plan to stay beyond 2 p.m. We shall remain outside at all times nearest the sidewalk areas. I'm going to abide by that, and, and my group is also. We're not there to be lawbreakers and truce breakers. They've allowed us to go. We're going to uh, keep, if you have any questions on signage and all this, I'll put a link to this website. They, 
you know, signs, for instance, have, have limits to their size. And so we want to obey them and we're going to go out there and represent Jesus. I know the media is going to show up and we're going to make the news. And how do we want to represent Christ? Violently, angrily, or in humbleness and love? This is approved. This is on. Here is the address and here are some images so you can kind of know what to expect. All of this will be hammered down over the next seven days. 1315 10th Street, Sacramento, California. But literally where I showed you on the north side is where we're meeting. Here's some images if you're not from California. Kind of show you. That's a cool shot. It's designed to look exactly like the capital of a of our nation in Washington DC when you drive up the street you see it at the end it's pretty cool let's discuss operation Jesus matters now that the hashtag Jesus matters that the Lord gave me that I believe it was at the beginning of August when you see it on my t-shirt here is trending it's trending it's trending all around the world Jesus matters look it's trending around the world you, you may have heard the gospel, but do you know the person behind and beyond the story Jesus Matters? Jesus Matters is, since we, uh, the Lord gave us to this and we shared it in obedience, I want you to be encouraged that this is trending on Twitter. And I want it to trend more, because Jesus is coming back. Let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna, th This sister, Kia, I have to shout this out. This sister, Kia, made a website for me while we were marching in Oklahoma and I came back and she had made all of this uh, it has my rap thing on here um, I, I just want you to visit this and just pray uphold uh, sister Kia in your prayers she knows who she is it says check out my flow she made this amazing website remember this Praise brother Ta hidden bride People hating on him and stuff. That's right. Brother Todd, you're, you're in our uh, you're in our prayers. I mean, this sister, my YouTube video feeds update here. I mean, I, I wouldn't have known how to do this. And you know what she said? God told her to to bless this ministry with her skills and talents. And boy, does she have skills and talents. I had no idea. And yet here it is. And God is going to use this website, sister to reach many, many people for Jesus. Here's the people that, here's Cindy Moss, here's the people that we met, here's the, the monument. This is all my YouTube videos. I mean, and there's over 1,500 of them and then Righteous Cry Ministries uh, was made in this. So, thank you, Sister Kia. I just have, this song is called Prepare. Prepare. In closing, I want to show you something. Prepare. That's what the Lord is saying. Prepare. She put that on my website. She did all of this. I want to show you some videos in closing about the reason why I, I, I brought up this. All I did was go to my video manager and put in Sacramento. Everybody see that? Because I remember one of them was a dream about uh, the Capitol. And the first thing I saw that stuck out to me was this kaboom. They, they had had this, they had kid there wearing backpacks that said kaboom on them at the Capitol. Very unpopular, uh, I think I'll thumb it up into the feed. Very unpopular to stand against this, but hey, it, it looks like, you know, looking back in, in, in hindsight that God was giving us a message. Look, five, 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 five is the number of grace. So I want to go a little bit further because the FBI was flying overhead with three planes monitoring what everybody was doing. All kinds of crazy things broke out. I was exposing GMOs. Uh, but there was one where it was actually a picture of the Capitol and, and that's why I brought this up. Still waiting on this Peshur from February 2014. Looking for a picture of the Capitol just in obedience to the Lord. I had no idea that it was gonna. 
Well, I don't want to keep you too long. I want to keep this video short. Um, but I had a dream about the event that I am about ready to... Uh, Sacramento, that's spelled right. Jerry Brown. July 26, 2012. More of my dreams become reality. Today is the day to be on your days, not lukewarm. My videos run a little long, but okay, here it is. Here, here's the capital, and then here's the split right here to go to San Francisco this way, Reading this way, LA this way. Here, here's the capital. Let's check the date on this so you can see God's hand on this. This is a layout of the streets in Sacramento. And uh, this was taken into custody for refusing the mark of the beast. Let's thumb this up. The reason why I do that is because these videos are from 2012. These videos are from 2012. How are you doing this? And they're prophetic in nature. And they're being played out. And you know who God is using? Us. So, having said all that and asking people to coordinate and get involved and ask you to pray for us, all of us, because this is going nationwide. I'm hoping for at least 25 states, which is 50%. This is how what I was told in closing to do. When I got here, the Lord told me to take my oil lamp and fill it with oil, which I have done. Today, he has told me to trim the wick you listening? Because I'm not playing. I'm obeying God. Trim the wick. And light it. Wise and foolish versions come to mind. And I've obeyed God. The lamp has been filled, the wick has been trimmed, and it has been lit. Now let me say this. No one truly knows what's going to happen in September, but judgment will fall. These blood moons are being mocked and scoffed. And uh, I know my videos run long. I'm looking at a 32-minute clock here, but I personally don't care. I mean, people are watching them, and I'm in no rush. And yeah, it's a 35-minute video. But when we get to heaven, there is no time. We have eternity. So what is important to you? Is it to go out and do things for the Lord? Is it to go share the gospel? Is it to go lay hands on the sick and they shall recover? You can operate in all these things. Or is it to watch TV? This is about Jesus matters. And, and no one truly knows what's going to happen in September, but I know one thing. There are many people mocking and scoffing all this prophecy from Jonathan Kahn and all these other people that have taken this Bible and found out there is something to these four blood moon tetrads in this year. I'm on here to tell you I don't know what's going to happen in September other than Bible prophecy is going to play out. But I do know this. They're scoffing and mocking us about it. I just read a big article today from NASA that they're mocking these asteroid prophecies and blood moon prophecies and the rapture and calling us paranoids and all that. If Let me say this in closing and thank you for your time. And put your contact information in your state, and I, I will help you any way I can through prayer and advice. If you mockers and scoffers are spared and are not left behind after all of these warnings in the month of September, you should get on your knees and be thankful that you have another month to ask for forgiveness and repentance but the Lord has already showed me that that's not what you will do you will not get on your knees and repent if if uh, August 1st comes and the watchmen are still here saying you know repent repent 
you will be mocking and scoffing even more, saying, what happened in September? That's why God is pronouncing judgment, because he knows the end from the beginning. Yes, we'll still be here. We'll still be telling you to repent. But the insanity is that he's pronouncing judgment guilty. And you still, the, the, we are marching all around the nation, and you will still mock, and you will still scoff, even though Jesus tarried and spared you. How many more months do you think that you have to be able to do that? Please accept Jesus Christ into your life today if you haven't already. Please fall on your knees and cry out to mercy for your state. Because the day will come when you will not be able to do that anymore. And you've been warned in advance. You can mock me and scoff me all you want. They've been doing that to me since ninth grade when I chose to follow Jesus in the early 70s hasn't stopped me.